it's been a hot second since I did a video, so I decided to show you some of the books I've purchased over the last uh, month and a half-ish. So the first book is one that my mom got me, and that is the Jane Austen Notes and Quotes edition. It's basically just a little uh, notebook that's got Jane Austen quotes in it and then some room to write. So I'm thinking about um, maybe just going through and adding in notes and thoughts and ideas I have as I read through all of Jane Austen's works in this notebook so I can store this with all of my Jane Austen books. Next up, I just recently joined a writer's group at my local library and they invited a guest speaker who is a self-published author that graduated from the same school that I did and that I now currently work at and it was really, really fun. Um, it, it was interesting to hear her path to self-publication. Um, and I also picked up some of her books, so let's get into those. First up is Saving Detroit by Michelle Bollinger, and I know that this is about um, um, sex slavery, especially dealing with a boy, which is kind of a different take on it, so I was very interested to try this one. The other one is called The Kiss, and it is the first book in the Cotier Chronicles, and I think this is kind of a Christian-based romance. Uh, I'm excited for both of these, and I'll be giving them a read soon. Next, I bought some books at my uh, local library book sale. I first picked up Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ning. I also picked up a copy of A Little Life by Hana Yara Gahari. Yana Gahari, I think I said that right. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading both of these. At a different local library, a different branch, um, they had a sale going and I actually won a little bit of a prize for some summer reading. So I got to pick out some books. Um, I first picked up two playaways, which are kind of like audio books that you can just take with you. Um, if you haven't seen them, they're kind of neat. It's like a little uh, portable mp3 player that you just rent from the library that already has the book downloaded. You can plug it into your, um, your speakers in your car or you can plug in headphones, whatever you want. But first I got Hush by Laura Lippman. This is kind of a murder mystery. And then I got Spring Fever by Mary Kay Andrews, which I believe I already have as a book, but I thought it'd be fun to listen to as a play away. At that same sale, I also picked up book one of the 39 Clues series. I know that my students are really, really into these, so I really wanted to try this and see what it's all about. So I picked this one up because it was like, I think, 50 cents. So I now have this one. And I also picked up Kill or Be Killed. This is a collection of book shots by Jane Patterson. I'm sorry if there's a weird glare from this. Uh, I'm excited, though. I've read... Um, at least one bookshop already and I, I'm excited they're really quick um, kind of engaging fun stories that don't take a huge investment of time so I thought this would be great um, to have on times when I feel like I can't get a lot of reading done uh, but I'd be able to get maybe get a shorter novella done so there is I think let's see there I think there's four one two three, four. Yeah, I think there's just four um, of the book shots in this all together. So that's pretty exciting. Next up at Half Price Books, I picked up two that I have had my eye on for a while and I wanted to have in my collection. The first one is Pivot Point by Casey West. This has been on my TBR all year. I meant to do a whole Casey West video, like I think in last August, and it just totally got away from me. I had this from the library for so long and hadn't read it that I had to turn it back in. So I decided just to get my own copy and I'm going to read it eventually. Another one that I picked up is uh, Peter Nimble and His Fantastic Eyes by Jonathan Ogzier, I think is how you say his name. Um, I got the second book as an arc, I think last year, or maybe even the year before. It could have been so long ago, but I didn't have this one, and I, I really just never thought to get the first one from the library so when I saw this at Half Price Books I decided to pick it up so that I can read this one and then read the second one. I probably am already behind in the series. I bet the third one's already out but now I have at least the first two. Then I went on a little bit of a buying spree. I went to a Half Price Books clearance sale which usually means that everything is two dollars or less so I tend to buy a lot more. I need to stop going to those. I need to stop just collecting books for the sake of having them. I'm trying to um, purge my books and just my whole house and my life of things that I don't need um, and just keep things that really really uh, mean something special to me that spark joy if you've read the um, life-changing magic of tidying up um, I'm just trying to get 
down to things that really make me happy. So I need to stop going and buying just any book that catches my eye, but I already did this before I started this purge, so here they are. Uh, first up, I got Cupcake by Rachel Cohen. I um, have read a couple things, I think, by her this year, so I'm kind of intrigued by this one. I wanted to give it a try, and then I think I'll probably pass it along to um, students at my school. Next up, I got The American Girl. I remember reading about this book when it came out and that it was like a pretty um, highly anticipated mystery um, and I really wanted to give it a try so when I saw it there I picked it up. Next I got Winter's Tale by Mark Helprin. I wanted to see this movie when it came out. It looked so sad though so I was like no I don't want to cry but I finally just caved and got the book and it's a it's a hunk it's a hunky book there it's a big thick book but it is on my shelf. I hope I can read it. We'll reevaluate later to see if I can do it without making myself cry. So we'll see. Next, I got Madame Tussaud, a novel of the French Revolution by Michelle Moran. I've seen several of these books about like famous historical women and I'm very kind of intrigued by them. So I picked this one up. I also picked up American Wife by Curtis Sittenfeld. I read another book by Curtis Sittenfeld called Eligible because it's supposed to be a modern day retelling of Pride and Prejudice, which I love. And uh, I wasn't crazy about it. I think because I'm so loyal to the traditional Pride and Prejudice. I didn't like the changes that were made. I didn't like the modifications. Um, so I thought I would give her another try because I believe she's local. I think she's from uh, Cincinnati. So I'd like to give this one a try. Next, I picked up the first book in the Nancy Drew series because I never read Nancy Drew when I was younger and I really, really wanted to try it. So I found the first book and I brought it home with me. This one's called The Secret of the Old Clock and this is by Carolyn Keene. Next, I picked up Born Confused by who ten you are Hydera oh my goodness I know I butchered your name and I so 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 sorry um, if you know how to pronounce this author's name please let me know but I saw this um, on somebody's TBR for like a diverse -a thon read-a-thon or something and I was really interested I was really excited to try this um, and I love the cover, so when I found a copy of it, I went ahead and picked it up. I also got Lost in Austin, a Create Your Own Jane Austen Adventure book, and this is by Emma Campbell Webster. I'm a sucker for anything Jane Austen, so I obviously had to pick it up, especially since it's a choose your own adventure, which sounds like so much fun. Next, I picked up How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents by Julia Alvarez. Um, I recently read another book that I always attach to this one, and I can't remember what it was, and I just really, really Really liked it so I decided to go ahead and get this one on my shelf so I'd be ready to read it uh, whenever I find the time. I also picked up New Orleans Stories uh, by great writers on the city uh, edited by John Miller because I went to New Orleans I think it was last year and I it's just so it's so interesting there's just so much culture there um, that you don't get in your traditional, I think, American city. So I'm excited to read more about it. Um, I have a couple of books about New Orleans that I would like to get to. So when I saw this one, I decided to pick it up and add it to that collection. And lastly, I'm kind of on a inspirational self-help kick lately with books. So I decided to pick this one up. This is by Lisa Sugar, founder of Pop Sugar. Is her name really Lisa Sugar? That's kind of interesting. Um, and it's called Power Your Happy, Work Hard, Play Nice, and Build Your Dream Life. So I'm excited to read this one. Definitely going to add it to my list. I've been reading a lot of them lately, like I said. So it's gonna be nice to have this one. So those are all the books that I added to my collection in the past like month and a half ish. Um, I did get rid of a ton of books the other day so there's room for these on my shelf actually uh, and I'm gonna continue to try to purge. Um, I did put away a few books that I'm hoping to do giveaways for later so definitely stay tuned for that and I think that's all I have for you so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again in the next video. Bye for now.